Hello, everyone. Ooh, to a very exciting, riveting designer Tuesday. Yes, welcome to Tuesday. And welcome to yet another Bins Haul. Here's your warning. We're going to be berating you with hauls a bit this week. Yes. So we have a haul today, as you clearly can see and saw by the thumbnail and the title. We are going to kind of have a haul on Thursday because mm -hmm. it's going to be a Thread Up Box unboxing. Thread Up Thursday. And then Saturday, surprise, is actually going to be another haul. And yes, it is going up on Saturday instead of Sunday this week, just because that's kind of how the, the cookies are crumbling. And they're crumbling this week. This week maybe yeah, so there's gonna be a bonus haul on Saturday. And but okay. today we have a bins haul for you. So Ryan and I actually just got home from the bins. So this stuff is like fresh out of the blue bucket. The blue as bins they, as they immediately. Say. We got some bags and some shoes and some kind of everything. And actually, I do apologize, but we did go today with Debbie, Evan, and my cousin, and it was the two of us. So it really was a family bins bash, but unfortunately, yes, due to some like filming controversy that's been going on in our bins, we didn't want to take the risk recording it. So at least this time, the bins bash was off camera. This is actually the first family bins bash that has that not been filmed. we haven't documented in yes. a while. Speaking so. of documentation, it needs to be said that Miss Marie from Milwaukee, Marie from Milwaukee, mm -hmm an angel. She was oh so nice. Gosh. So we met her this she, morning right when we got there. She was lovely. She was adorable. She yes. was so sweet, so kind. So this bins haul is about as impromptu as physically possible. Yes. Today's video was actually meant to be a haul from the thrift with us in the bougie Goodwills video that went up last week. We were just gonna show you everything we ended up getting, but we just literally like 20 minutes ago at the most had a change of plans and decided, <laughs> why not show something you guys haven't seen this before? Is much more fun. Something is present here. I did get this at the Plato's Closet that we stopped did at. Did you film this? Yeah, I, I hope so. It's I cute. I think I did. It fits you I'm so well. I'm sure there's some clip where this popped up, but yes, I did buy myself a piece of Express, but I think it's cute. It's really cute. Yeah. When you're watching this, we're on vacation. On an island This is a time. perfect vacation shirt. It is so, a like, vacation shirt. Yeah. Anyways, we've rambled enough. I suppose we should jump into it. I'm sure none of you are new here, but if oh, you are- Oh, I'm excited. If you are, we're of course starting off with like the stuff and non like body clothing pieces, and then we'll move on to the actual like clothing pieces. So to start off, I do have quite a few bags to show you guys. And we're gonna start off with this weird one that I still don't really I understand. I thought this was Dewey. I did too. It looks like a Dewey. So this is some kind of little thing. <laughs> It has one strap, and it's obviously from Hello Kitty. Oh my god. It looks very Dooney and Burke, as it's like a coated kind of canvas, and then there's like faux leather trim to it. I don't know if this is like a one-shoulder backpack to like a plushie, or what the dealio is. Or, but it turns into a little like wristlet. I don't know what it is. It's adorable. It's but, like a pencil pouch. That's kind of what I was thinking, or like a what, like a water bottle holder. I don't really know. A water bottle holder. There was probably a little Hello Kitty water bottle that went in there. So this is official by Sanrio. You're probably not gonna really be able to see if there is a tag in here, but it's actually only from well, it's from 2006. So she's a bit old. Oh I was gonna say that's not that long ago, but like we're going on that being 20 years ago soon. So this is really old. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd give anyway. Ryan an existential crisis quick. So there's some wear. This is, again, almost 20 years old from 2006. So there's there's wear and stuff all throughout, but Hello Kitty stuff does so well that I'm sure that this will sell. Next up for me is a vintage coach piece. Now this is not the only vintage coach that we pulled, and this is definitely the worst of the two. Oh, don't say that, she's beautiful. But, but I will still take this one. So this is like, I don't know, Debbie just sold this style. I don't know the coach like vintage styles that well. I haven't seen the one with the pockets on the front. Yeah, this is like a two pocket exterior lugger kind of like mess crossbody bag. It is actually made in New York, which New means York, it is really old. The style number is 1604. And really, this is in pretty good shape yeah. for its age. I do need to leather condition it and probably maybe like dye touch it up a bit. But the fact that it has the crossbody, the fact that the zipper works, the fact that it has the hang tag, and the fact that it's like really clean inside is kind of what matters. The exterior, you can put work you into can it. buff it out. But everything else, yeah, that's Speaking fantastic. Speaking of buffing it out, I have been on the coach fixing rehab side of the internet for a very long time. And I have just recently purchased some saddle soap and the brushes that go with it. And apparently, like, if you do, if you soak it, you do the saddle soap, and then you, like, 
you know, if it's black and you kind of touch the edges up and stuff, it literally turns new. I, I think that's a, I think that's a good candidate. Um, this is a freaking find, and y'all might think, oh, Jack, just put his fun little dumpy, stupid little pumpkin in the thumbnail just because he's weird. That's what I was thinking. No, this little pumpkin <laughs> is actually by Lisa Frank. Though she does just look like a normal, like, old blow mold. It is a Lisa Frank one, and <laughs> she's got value. Oh, People God. list and sell, and sell, there are sold comps, <laughs> these little blow mold pumpkin buckets for 100 to 120 It is dollars. literally a small piece of plastic, which I feel like I can say the same about all my little it pop so tank tops. Cute. It is adorable. Oh, I'm so excited. Made in China, it says, Happy Halloween, Lisa Frank. It doesn't have a year on it though. That'd be interesting. I I just picked it up, of course, because it was a pumpkin. I like to recipe the Halloween stuff in the bins, but like finding that out, awesome. Mm -hmm. Ryan was kind of jealous. All my last finds, Ryan was pretty jealous about. And it has the keychain on it. I found this like satin bag. It's just black. It's got a big old bow. You might know by the style what this is. This is a Juicy Couture bag, and this is an old I Juicy think Couture bag. I this is a daydreamer. Possibly. If I've I'm not never mistaken. seen it in, like, satin. I haven't either. Here is, like, the lining, the classic old Juicy Couture lining, and then, of course, it has that giant pink label that the old Juicy Couture has. This is made of rayon and viscose and acetate. Mm. Also, all of the leather pieces are real leather, which is kind of a thing that only the old ones have. Yeah. This is actually in super good shape because we all know that, like, viscose and rayon can run just as much as silk. So that is wonderful. The inside is like a little dirty, but once again, this thing is probably at least 20 years That's old. That's early 2000s makeup. But it also has like the Juicy I Couture know. from Juicy with Love keychain. It has this little like caged crystal heart one. The bottom's in great shape. This is wonderful. It's probably not gonna go as well as like the ones with graphics or the cherry cloth ones, but this should still do really good because it's so old. I think if you had a really cute bubblegum pink scarf yeah. and you tried a bow on that. I, I think that. that'd be yeah. so cute. Then we have a older, probably Y2K diesel leather belt by Diesel. Diesel's been having a moment lately, so this is great. Mm -hmm. This is Diesel good. made in Italy. So this is like the good, good Diesel. Oh, it's the little mohawk guy. Yeah, it's yeah. got the old, I think it's an old logo. I don't, like think, punk, I don't know if they punk. use that anymore, but it's like a mohawk dude on it. And <laughs> it's then, like the shock top guy. And then <laughs> this buckle is he the duty. So I'm gonna look more into this. Once again, we need to like a little bit of leather touch up, but that's totally fine. And last step for my stuff are two twins, kind of. So these are two coach, tiny, micro little shoulder these bags, which of course is the style that is like so in this year. This is the one that drew me to the bin. I saw this roll out and I sprinted down to this bin and literally nobody else did. So I was like, okay, y'all, thank you. I'll take it. I'll keep her. It's got this beautiful like purple, royal purple lining. And this is non-outlet as well, though it is probably from, I don't know, maybe 2005 or six if I had to guess. I love this one, metallic one. This, this one so actually cute. has the tiny logo as a plaque and it has this itsy bitsy little tag <laughs> that is teeny. so cute. Weirdly enough, the lining is the exact same color. And this one does not have a creed. It just has the made in China tag in it. But of course, this is definitely a real one. It has this fun like pleat kind of detail. She should do then. Ah, stick. I was oh, yeah. so surprised nobody else ran down to get these. I was like, gimme. Gimme. Yeah. Gimme. I have three pairs of shoes, two bags. One of the bags is the nicest thing in this haul, objectively. So we'll do the shoes first. These were just kind of sitting there. Really adorable little pair of distressed Oxfords. And these are, if you are gonna be able to tell, these are by Bed Stew. Yeah, there you go. They are a size six and a half, ladies, US. And I think these are gonna do great. I thought you were gonna start a sentence like, ladies, now ladies. if you want these. They got a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I think that's kind of the point. Um, I have not found a pair of Bed Stews, and I literally don't even know how long. No. So I was very excited to find these. Okay, these, I think I irritated the t-shirt bros when I found them, because they were all kind of gunning for these, and I kind of just very nonchalantly just bent down and kind of picked them both up. Um, it is a pair of Red Wing boots. If you do not know, these are made in Red Wing, Minnesota, which is like more toward the Iowa border, kind of like Southern, <laughs> but not like Southern. In the southern area Minnesota. that's being like flooded right now. Yes, so thoughts and prayers to them. Um, but these are beautiful. These are still made in the USA. I think a lot of the newer ones are made in China. 
I know the vintage ones can be worth a lot of money. So I am going to do my due diligence and I'm going to Google them. And I also am going to figure out what size these are because I have no idea. I do not know. I can picture a vintage guy with a North Face hat on, a white cream thermal shirt, and a pair of green cargo pants with those See? On. That's what they wear. <laughs> These <laughs> little beauties were in the exact same bin as the bed stews. I went like nuts so frico when I found the one and I was trying to find the other and I ended up finding both of them. This is a pair of Manolo Blahniks. Ooh, I turned my little, <gasps> oh, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they need to be ah! re heel capped. Okay, so I'm gonna I guess that. that's probably a good thing because it obviously would have broke anyways then. No, so that's okay. I will get these, I will get these heel capped. But this is a pair that was worn by, I think Samantha on Sex in the City. Really? If I'm not mistaken. I looked them up and that's what popped up, but they're this really adorable little, like almost wicker, kind of rattan, little biscuit basket. I think these are so cute. They are a size 40, which I think is a size 10, nine to 10 US. I don't know what the Manolo, like little conversion doodad goes to, but I was just impressed that none of these little netting pieces on the toe had any any kinds of wear, Not even which spray. is the joy. No. So I will show you the least exciting of these two bags. The first one being this really adorable little handmade crochet bag. And I love the little granny square vibe to cute. it. I think it's really cute. This one is definitely handmade, but it has pockets in it, like buttonable pockets. And I love these like big chunky plastic, like kid buttons. I think they're super cute. And then there's a little closure button on top. So none of your little, none of your little things. None of your books will be still out. And I love how they did the handles of like one of them is in the darker yarn with a little light strip. And one of them is the opposite. Super cute. Drum roll please. Here she is. Good things come in small packages because she's very unassuming. unassuming. Plot twist. So this is a vintage coach clutch. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a cute one because it has this little kiss lock thing inside. I do not know if you are going to be able to see, but it says, no, you're not. It says coach leather wear made in New York city number 19511. This bag is called the coach classic clutch with a kiss lock on it. And this is hard to find. It does have the little coach hang tag. It's the zipper pull for the like inside pocket. And I was clasping in my little thing. These are hard to find. When I was Googling them, I found two on Etsy that were $600 a piece. They had a black one and then they had like a darker version of like this tan. So I'm gonna clean her up. <sighs> I think I'm gonna throw it up for 500 bucks and I'm just gonna see what sticks. Like if people are looking at them for 600, then they'll see mine. So if you're one of my little coach girlies, hit me up. When he found that and he hadn't looked it up yet, I said, I was like, with a coin purse that's like installed like that, I have a feeling mm -hmm. that that's like a rare one. Cause like, when do you see that? Never. Never. That's I've seen so it, cute. but on ones that are really expensive. First off, I got a pair of jeans that Ryan gave to me. And these are some Point Sur jeans, size 27, which of course is a J. Crew brand that mm -hmm. I think is from like 20. 2016 to maybe 2019 at the latest. This is a pair from 2018. Them. And the reason I'll be selling these myself, first off, they're really cute with this tiny pot get in the button fly, but these are like the J Crew version of the Cali Demi boot, which I do like to sell J Crew like flared jeans. They always seem to do quite well for me and these are in great shape. Yeah. So I'm gonna give them a shot. Those are super cute. Then we have a really freaking cute pair of pants that Ryan really These would have matched my outfit today. These would yes. look great. This would match any art teacher outfit. I know. So these are actually Urban Outfitters and they are by BDG. And these are size 28. They are the high rise baggy jean. And these are purple, purple. They are corduroy Baggy pants. corduroy wide leg pants. These are freaking adorable. They are high rise. I was gonna say Barney purple, but they're actually more like of a like a Viking, like a Minnesota Viking. It is purple. like a skull purple. These are so cute, and I think that they will do fan freaking tastic. Then we have this really like goth punk funky pair of pants. They got graphics all over them, very like neon. They almost look like they'd glow in the dark, but I don't. 
think they do? I don't think they would. And these, were you yawning behind my pants by chance? No. And out for them, these are Dolls Kill and Broken Brains, which I do hmm. not know what Broken Brains is. Yeah. They're XL, but rarely does Dolls Kill stuff actually say Dolls Kill. So that was really handy that it yeah. said that. Great shape, not faded at all. Mm -hmm. And I do love to sell Dolls Kill. So I was uh, uh. Next up, totally forgot to put this in the beginning part, but this Oops. is kind of an other, and this is a really, really good find. This is like my best non-clothing piece find. It's beautiful. So this is a really cute polka dot silk tie in this like really light, almost gray blue. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time by finding this huge bolo brand. This is a Tom Ford tie. Made in Italy, 100% silk. This is why I love to check the ties mm -hmm. they are kind of like the little secrets that nobody ever looks at yes. i guess i have this tie too this one's pretty a little bit older not like my favorite one but this is actually by valentino valentino yes. doesn't sell like amazingly but of course like at the bins i'm gonna pick this up it's also in fantastic it's shape it's really pretty yeah still yeah. made in italy love it still silk this is just for facebook marketplace it is soda which is a local company that people really like a boutique -y thing medium this is minnesota mini soda it's probably unisex i think everything they make is like unisex it's basically. cute first up for me is something jack did not want which i cannot understand why beautiful it is this 100 percent green leather jacket and i was like oh he didn't want it because it was like pleather or something else and i gave gonna, it like, to you i completely did not hear that at all i pulled this out of a bin um, it is Massimo by Target from way back in the day. But I am obsessed with this. I love her. I think she's going to do great on Depop. Very excited. Oh, I have these and I forgot to put these in my little thing. So I guess I'll do this now. This one, I think I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to do the thing where you kind of like tie them in like a bow, like a bow tie instead of like an actual tie. This is Gucci, and I love... Did you say you're gonna keep There's it? the label. I think I'm gonna. It's really beautiful. I think it's older because it has the little older Gucci monogram on it, but this is very, very, very cute. I also found an Hermana Gildo Zenia tie fitting for the season with these really pretty daisies. This looks like a Cheesecake Factory floor to I've me. Never been That's what one. that gets. Um, I think all of these ties are 100% silk. And then my last tie is a nice little plain blue tie. This one's a little bit newer. It is Burberry, Burberry. And then it has the two little Burberry dudes just kind of hanging out on it. Yeah. Really cute. Back to the clothing. This I got, I don't pick up this brand a ton, but I will grab it if it's something this cute and this new. It is Lane Bryant, size 24. My eyes are going bad on me. But this is a really nice, it's a really airy, like lightweight cotton. But I love this print. And if you can see, it has this like really nice texture to it. It's kind of like a slubbed. Nice a little thing. bit. And then it has this really adorable like wrap detail on the front. So it has these two longer pieces that you can kind of like, you know, pull back and give her a little bit of shape, which is wonderful. This, I feel like Jack picking this up. It is one of my favorite colors. Green. This is really beautiful though. It is Banana Republic, size large, and it is this green knit duster cardigan. Nice. She is long and it has like a little bit of weight to it. I don't know what year it's from and I don't know what it's made 2020. from. Perfect. It's very like plush. It is really nice. And I was like, I think that'll be a good kind of like- Pea soup colored. Very much so. It'll be a good like transitional moment from spring to summer. Okay, this I just watched a lady completely pass on and I was like, thank you. This is a really, really a beautiful blue tiered dress. And I love that it has this like big open front to it. And it is da 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 Free People Beach. Nice. Size large. I feel like I never find Free People Beach in something that isn't an extra small or that like gray funnel neck that we've all found a hundred million yes, times. That like I was fuzzy one. Very, very excited to find this. Next is a pair of jeans that I'm taking to Playlist Closet. American Eagle. Just nice little high-waisted jeans this is kind of my grab from the vintage people i don't i mean nobody saw me grab this but i know that they would have wanted this if they had seen it so this is a pair of levi's they are in this nice like khaki kind of tan cream very sand mm -hmm. beach color beach. and they are 
orange tab, which is, if you know, you know, a very good line of Levi's that is very sought after from maybe the 90s or 80s. I have no idea. These are 33 by 34, so really a pretty good size too, especially for men. And they're in really, really good shape. Yeah, they're 550. These, these were really not cool. worn very many times. You can still see like the fold marked on the middle of the leg. So mm -hmm. these are in great shape and I'm really excited about that. I will not be cutting those ones up at all no no good then another thing that ryan was pretty jealous of i found this little skirt this little girl, this little, this little girly skirt, skirt. <laughs> mini skirt it is a tiny skirt. and it is once again urban and it's bdg but i feel like it's once again a really good piece that'll do well it's a size mm -hmm. medium and for some reason from the front it looks like a skirt just for some reason i don't know what the seam somehow yeah the but seam it is not it is totally like, like a full-blown skirt. It is skirt. skirt. This is a medium, and this is definitely like a wear at the hip. This is like a Mew Mew kind of situation yes. of like you wear it way down. Mm -hmm. Then, this was a really good find too. These are Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. They're the 90s relaxed high-rise jean, and they are a size 28 or a 6. And these are the classic light blue wash with this fun, like, <sighs> unraveled, distressed hem to them. Yeah, these are adorable. So cute so nice this is the kind that i would like pay a decent like up to 10 bucks for if i found oh. them at like a goodwill or something like 100%. that then i didn't even have to look this up i knew what this was right away this is a sweater that's really adorable chevron and it is by stitches and stripes Thanks, and this is an ever Eve sweater I and it's funny it. because the first time i found it at the bins i picked it up didn't google it and i was like this is gonna be ever Eve. threw it in my cart brought it home it was ever Eve. Can't so believe that. this one, I have an instinct for this sweater for some reason, but it was awesome to find this one again. It's so cute. Obviously adorable model picture, mm -hmm. size XL. And then we have a really cute piece. So this is actually Free People, and I kind of had a feeling it would be just based off of the style. So the tag is kind of coming off and the size is gone, but this, this is, is a really so cute, cute sweatshirt with this like knit sweater sleeve and side to it. So cute. So adorable. It's probably like small or medium, just super oversized. And then I first found the dust bag and then found the actual dress because yes, apparently dresses have dust bags now. This says Tory Burch and I could tell just by putting like the two <laughs> together. But what was inside of it originally was this size small, adorable, oh. like handkerchief, floral, doily, grandma situation dress. It's so, there's like one little spot on Yeah, the I was gonna say, I haven't looked too close and like, I'm sure there's like a spot or two. It is kind of just like a t-shirt dress, but it is It's so too cute though. Cute. So I'm really pumped about this. It yeah. has like the stamped logo, but I'm sure this is a really modern piece. I feel like this is like what her bags have been looking like a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cute little, a lot of this stuff, thankfully, isn't for Depop, which I sound mean saying that, but I love finding stuff for- Says the king of Depop. The Poshmark, You betrayed us. This is Lucky Tees by Lucky Brand, and it's just a really cute little red waffle knit thermal with the big old peace sign on it, plain on the back. This is a size medium. Very cute. This is for me. I'm gonna wear this when we go on vacation. It is Tommy Bahama, 100% silk. Just like a nice, flowy cream white button down. It is hot when we go up north. And so I am trying to find things that are good looking, but not like flowy, cotton. Oceany. Yeah, exactly. These, I do not really know what they are, but I was very excited to find them. The brand is Autumn Tenail. Reused, recycled, rikiki, organic. Rikiki. Reuse. Recycle. Re reduce. Rikiki. Made in Colorado. But are they good? are these, okay, so here's the tag. Arden, Autumn Tenio. I didn't look them up, but I got them because they look really cool. But look at these So pants. they could be trash. They are they so could be amazing. fun. They have these two big like smock pockets on the side. They have a nice elastic waist. And they, I thought they were gonna be free people movement when I first grabbed them. So you have no info to tell us. I have no idea. I mean, they're interesting. They could be worth a dollar. They could be worth a hundred dollars. Who knows? What if they're worth fifty? Perfect. That'd be a very, very joyous thing. Oh, this dress! I love this dress. This is nothing special. It is just a Lulu's dress, but it's this beautiful kind of like jewel-toned green, really heavily pleated dress Emerald. with these two kind of like wavy details in the front, and then it has this like lattice detail that goes around under the bust. I think this is a good like wedding guest dress. 
And especially, as I'm well aware of, is that we are in the thick of wedding season. People need things to wear to these weddings. These, I just got to take to Play-Dohs. Just men's XL workout shorts. They always need men's. And they always like men's that isn't small medium. This is going to my mother. It is a Uniqlo plain white button-down shirt. You're welcome, Jamie. I think I'm on my last couple things. And I got a bag and a half. Yeah, so Ryan's gonna, as per usual, have to kick in the hyperdrive. We have a loft coat. This is a size small, and this is super freaking nice, super soft. Ryan actually has this in blue that he got from a thread up on. Yes, I do. I think this is like really modern. It's almost like that, eye, I feel like we keep running into this, this like almost eyelash fabric. Like eyelash and mohair, kind of yeah. heavy. Yeah, and this is from 2020, mm -hmm. so new enough, but it's really good Cute. shape. And otherwise, of course, I could consign it for probably a good chunk of money. Yeah. Then we have this really cute, intimate, like, Zachary B. Zachary B. style dress. And this is by Intimately Free People, size medium. I can just kind of tell by how crisp this label is that this is like a newer piece. And, and of course, this, like, like this V detail. And intimate lacy stuff is so in lately that mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a newer piece. Then we have a pair of jeans once again, and these are made well and these are actually petite which usually is not my favorite they're 25 petite but they're the cali demi boot which mm -hmm. i love and Speaking everyone's all with like the cali demi boot people are okay with them being petite for some reason the capri there's not a mark here this is just a wrinkle i don't know why it looks like that on <laughs> on camera oops but these actually this is factory distressing all throughout and it's kind of a pair of that like farmer woe yeah where it looks a little yellow because little she's, yellow. she's been out on the field so she's that been is running around in the dirt that is factory like done but i love to sell the cali demi boot mm -hmm. And my last couple things, we have a cardigan, and this is by Vince. This is size small, Cute. and it's kind of a waterfall cardigan, but of course in the bins, I'm not gonna skip something like this. I'm pretty sure it is wool. It is wool and yak, so that too. It's really good material, probably retailed for a lot. This is one of my faves. This is J. Crew size OG. medium, and it's from the regular store. So this is one of the wool blend ones. And this is the super long sweater cardigan coat. These do so good, and they put Ryan right to sleep. I'm so sorry, these lights. <laughs> the lights put me to sleep. The lights, the lights. And last but not least for me is a this new is so polo brand. So this is a brand that is called Margot Baradon. Baradon. Mm -mm. I know it says Margot. That's a... <laughs> Size large. And this is a really interesting, like, roughly off-the-shoulder puff sleeve. <laughs> funky, funky That's a lot top. of fabric. And this is one that is from Anthro and a lot of times she is sold at Anthro, but not always. And yeah, this doesn't even have, oh, it is 66170. So this one was made actually like for Anthro. It's so cute though. But like all of hers is expensive and even the real real had stuff by her listed. So don't even like, who cares where it's being sold or where it was sold. Just if you see Pick her stuff, grab it for sure. Pick it up. Next up for me. I have a very adorable little mini backpack. She does need to be washed. This should have been in with my stuff, but that is okay. It is a little mini Fjall Raven. These clean up really well, and I like the little like Lego colors. And they're kind of like cute. Birkenstocks where like they'll sell no matter what. And it's also full of money. How much money? I want a Disney pin. And a Vitruvian man coin. 27 we got, cents. We got 27 cents, a euro, the back of a Disney pin. <laughs> Don't ever say nobody got you anything. I wonder where they took Disney, <sighs> hopefully. Oh, oh this. I love this so much. This should have been in my stuff too. But it is this, if you saw my Instagram post, I posted about him. The silliest little guy. He is a rug from, da 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 da. That little UO means Urban Outfitters. I'm so excited to have found this. I love him. He's very precious. Yeah. I wish I could keep him, but I do not have a spot for him. Speaking of Urban Outfitters, Urban Outfitters, size extra small. I think this is probably a men's really cute little pink corduroy full zip jacket. That will be good as we transition out of summer buying season. <laughs> this, I'm shocked if there's anybody out there who doesn't know what they are. I'll give you a half a second. Except they've been like knocked, knocked off, off by every A hundred million America. times. This is a with free, free people. This one is a size small. There's a little bit of soy laying right around the neck. I'm gonna spray it with OxyClean and nobody is going to know the difference. This is a really cute pair of Levi's 501s. They are a 24 by 30, but I like the black. I like that they have this kind of like gray 
detail to them. And then I like the raw hem. I think these are too good. I think just like a nice classic black straight jean. You can't go wrong. This I gave to Jack's cousin who has another family member that goes to the University of Minnesota. And she said no. And I said, that's fine. <laughs> and then I realized it is Tommy Bahama, University of Minnesota. So I am going to put this on Facebook and there is going to be some ski you oh, ma dad who's going to give me $40 for fast, this. Fast, fast, fast. It's really cute though. And so my sister goes to the, went to the University of Iowa graduated they had tommy bahama stuff and it was still like these shirts would be like 170 i'm sure 150 bucks it is so expensive so i was very excited to find one in the bin very 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 cute okay this was in a shoe rotation which is very weird <laughs> And I found both pieces. It is new label St. John, really adorable, like textured red tank top. And then I did also find the matching jacket. I am honestly gonna sell this myself and I'm gonna wait until Christmas because some little old lady is gonna come buy that for her little holiday party. <laughs> And it's gonna be great. This is a really adorable, this I did get for Depop. It is Robert Scotland. No clue, but it is pure Shetland wool, which does really good on eBay and Depop. And I love this kind of like marled gray color. That's cute. With the it's little like, like rope detail, or the little it's got kind like of like weavy details going rainbow. down. Rainbow. It's really it. pretty. Yeah. This is for a dear, dear friend of mine. She has a little baby, and I could not pass this up. It is Oshkosh Bagash, so but it's the Wizard of Oz. It is this adorable little summer dress with a little cutout in the back. I would have picked that up. I That's so cute. Oh, it's adorable. It is so cute. These, I'm gonna see if they fit me. Fingers crossed, a little pair of Levi's, 501, pair of jorts. We'll see. This, because I needed a swimsuit to wear on the vacation we go on Saturday. Um, this is by City Streets, which is like Ragstock or something, but it's just a cute, cute little men's swimsuit. Long enough, not too long. Easy peasy. These, I did kind of like elbow a vintage kit out of the way, but like they elbowed me first, so it's not that big of a deal. These are newer Nike, size small, but I love these pants. Cute. They have this like, they look like a crown royal bag. They do. Kind of <laughs> They do. Honestly, and they are Nike Air and this really amazing chocolate brown. It has a little logo on the back as well. Very, very excited about those. They look very Y2K actually. Very. I knew what this was before I picked it up, it was just a matter of, is it the Knox Rose version or is it the original version? And thankfully it was the original version. This is Free People size medium, really, really beautiful burnt red dress with these crazy wide sleeves. And I love the colors of this floral embroidery against this red. I think it's really, really, really cute. I love these. And these kind of like little tunicky swing dress moments they still do so good for me. They still do. Okay, this is a pair of Pilcro. Oh, these are cute. Pilcro and the letterpress pants. These are a size 1X. I have never seen this Pilcro tag before. I think it's newer. Is it? Cool. I just, in, once again, last Thursday, I was going to the bougie stores mm -hmm. at um, Style on Court. I found one with that tag. It's really cute. And they're these really amazing pair of like, almost like quilt block, kind of like culottes. They're definitely not like a full length pant, but I don't think they'd be a capri. I think they're kind of like an ankle moment, but they are very, very, very neat. This is a beautiful little vintage piece. And it has the big pussy bow in the front, which leads me to believe like 1970s kind of a vibe. I love this. It looks oh like key lime pie, or they look like little germs. Yes little germ spores. There is no tags in this, unfortunately, anywhere, but it was in a bin of like every other 1960s dress and they were all horribly disfigured. Like she had been in an accident. Thankfully, this was fine. When that roll, I saw that like kind of tucked in when it was rolling out and I was like, should I run down there and let's see what that is? So this is another kind of like Depop eBay find. I see there's a little bit of wear on it, but that is no big deal. It is, if you can believe it, Ralph Lauren. But these little like tank top, tank tops, these little kind of like twin like sweaters, they do pretty good for me. The little, the little preppy girlies on Depop, love them. This I'm gonna send to my sister, cute little J. Crew T Blossom. And it's from, oh, Blossom Orchard, I thought it was a state. Just kidding. This Jack gave to me. It is a vintage made in Hawaii. It is 
me, me Jane or my Jane. I love this like 70s kind of Mandarin collar with the little buttons and these crazy vibrant flowers. And I love the orange. I this, love a vintage orange. This brand looks like it does really well. And people list the tops for like 90 and the dresses are like $300. Perfect. So. Then I found a really adorable pair of pajamas. Oh, there are two this. pieces. They are by Nick and Nora, but it is all of these amazing little breakfast foods. They're size large. The pants, I need to kind of like rework the drawstring I back into guarantee them. guarantee these are called the tea time pajamas. I like, hope so. I could literally guarantee. And there's a little bit of wear kind of like up on the top band of the pants, but other than that, it's really not that big of a deal. But I am like, I'm not gonna leave them there. They are so stinking cute. Okay, we are now on to the other bag. Oh, just kidding, I lied. There's one more person here. Really adorable little blue leather. This is not a coach, unfortunately. It is a vintage loft. But I love this like double, double handle That's kind of cute. a vibe. And it was right with that other coach bag, the little tan one I found. So I was like, buckets. Straight buckets, almost. Okay, this I got because it was an Every Eve t-shirt. It is David... Learner or Learner and Ever Eve. She needs a little bit of a bleach wash, which is not that big of a deal. Lover. Lover. In the ACDC font, and then it has just like the little seam going down the back. That is a size small. This I got because I couldn't leave it. It's so cute. It is Chaser, size medium, but it is a John Von, J John Von. Yeah, John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi, not John Von Jovi. John Bon Jovi, just cute little gray band t-shirt. This I got definitely not thinking I'm going to make all the money in the world. It is a spiritual gangster size small, but it's just a cute little tank top. And it's in that like nice, like holographic font. Grateful. And I, that was my theme of the day. I am grateful, which is funny that I found that. Okay. This oh. next oh, no. set. Oh, please. It's a oh, set. Please. It's adorable. Oh, please. So the first thing <laughs> is this really, really precious little kind of like bolero jacket. And it has no pockets. I thought it did. It's like burlap almost. It's not burlap though. I don't know where this is from. And I don't think it's homemade. But it comes with oh, the matching dress. Oh, come on now. Oh, please. It's so cute. I was at the bin that this dress came out. <laughs> in and I picked it up and I looked at this woman and I was like, ooh. And she was like, ooh. I love it. So, I think it's so, if you put them together, then how it's, cute. Look at her. Two, oh yeah, none of y'all know what you're talking about. Two this is doo -doo's is still doo doo. Next, I love these pants. These are aloe yoga, size extra small. Really cute little distressed black jogger pants. The logo is somewhere on them. Perfect right there. Easy peasy. I found a lot of really good athletic this day, which I was very excited about. This is a new brand to me, but I've heard of it before. It is Koto Paxi. If I'm saying that right, they make those really nice coats that I always think are Aviator Nation. And they make a lot of like hiking backpacks and stuff like that. But this is a really cute kind of color block sweatshirt with a little drawstring on it. And then it does have the little llama logo on the back. Two of kind of the exact same thing. They are Sundance, Sundance, Saturday, Sunday by Anthropology. This is a really nice little green pair of burnout joggers. And then we also have them, the blue variety, which is wonderful. Okay, Jack found me this and it is so cute. It is a vintage. I, I don't know what age this is from. I feel like somebody definitely lopped the bottom of this dress off, but I think it's kind of cute that way. It's definitely very Y2K. It's Dilvert. So it is kind of like an early 2000s prom dress that somebody kind of did their own too, but I think it's really pretty. It's so It looks like cute. something that Doll's Kale would post right now, which I'm very happy about. Jack found this one for me as well. It is Truly Madly Deeply which is Urban Outfitters. Again, just a cute little red thermal. Those do good on the beep up. This has been spoken for, but I will show it to you anyway. It is a Skims size large, really adorable, so soft, little raglan tee with the gray and the black. Still on the website. So thank you for purchasing. This is going to my father. It is Tommy Bahama size medium. There's a little bit of soiling on the neck, but thankfully I have a bottle of OxyClean. Couldn't think of any of that stuff for two minutes, but I love the back. This is one of those like 100% silk little button downs. And this one says swing shift. 
which is very fitting for him. That's kind of all that he's been wearing and good for him. This I'm definitely gonna take with me to <laughs> when we go up north. It's life is good, size extra, extra large, but it has a little wine bottle on it. Bottle. It's a little wine glass. It's so, I might honestly wouldn't set our bonfire tonight. It's so cute. And I love this like thicker kind of like navy cotton. Something about that in particular is very wonderful. This is a very interesting tank top. It is by the brand loveislife.net. And it just said, you rock, love this life. And then it has all this word on the back. But these little like stretchy tank tops do great on Depop. I should have put these at the beginning so I could have blabbed about them for a little bit. I found two, Jack's cousin found another one of these very, very, very expensive swimsuits. They are both by the brand Hunza G. And I found another swimsuit by them, by her in the bins a while ago, but it was a top and a bottom. They both sold for 85 a piece. The one pieces retail for like 230 to 275 and people sell them for like 150 to 180. So I have this really cute gold shimmery version. And then I have this like a little bit more plain black version, but this one has like the little ruching at the bust. And they're all this like very, very stretchy material. They are both size, I wanna say, they have one size for this one. And I feel like that's probably the same for this one. Both one size, which means tiny, but either way, very adorable. Cute little bra up next. It is a Spanx extra large and I am so blessed that she cut the tag off enough so I could still read the size. This nice little shapewear bra. Those always do good for me. This is a pair of, if you can guess it, a little Lou Lou lemon moment. I am not gonna be able to find the size tag quick enough, but I would say these are like a four or six probably. They are this really nice pair of wonder unders. I don't think they're, they might be a seven eights, but they have this really cool kind of like mesh panel on the back side of them. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. Another pair of Lululemon sweatpants. These are, I don't, I've sold these before. I just don't remember the name. I'm gonna purple these and just kind of darken them up a little bit. But here is the matching little Lulu logo. Those are probably a two or a six as well, or a four or six, excuse me, as well. These I was very excited to find. Wild Fox, size extra small. They say, good morning, they are. So cute, little black, kind of like wide leg, very loungy joggers. This dress, I looked up comps on this and they were pretty decent. It is called Global Mamas, handmade in Ghana. But this is this beautiful green batik dress in this really amazing kind of geometric pattern. And it's a little wrap dress. I think this is cute. I think it's good for the summer. Pretty. It's a beautiful color and I am a sucker for anything batik. Okay, we have three more. Buckle in folks, we're almost there. This is a beautiful vintage dress that was just sitting there that I do not know why anybody wanted. There is no brand, but it is very old and very clearly made in Hawaii. I am gonna safely assume this is from the 70s yeah. just based off of the color. But look at this dress. It gives Powerpuff Girls Go to Hawaii. It gives H2O. I so am on wholly obsessed with this. I love how vibrant all the colors are still. And I've had a few- It gives like Brady Bunch party. It does give like, if the Brady Bunches were to throw a luau, this is what more yes. should matter. Um, I've sold a few vintage made in Hawaii pieces before that are like really colorful, really 70s, and they go for like upwards of 200 bucks, which is a joy. This is a pair of BDG jeans. These are, I don't even know. And they are a size 24. Tiny as well, but just a really cute little high-waisted pair of light wash jeans. Those will be good for oh, back to school, but that's okay. And then the last thing I found is a tapestry. And I do very well when I find these. I put them on Facebook Marketplace usually, but this is a eagle or a thunderbird eating a snake. And it's a long, like, I guess you could use this as a rug if you had like a little hallway. Mm. It's cute. And it's really soft too. Okay. I've been trying to fight a yawn. You're putting me give to sleep the, this time. Give in to the yawn. Anyways, that is all that we have for you guys today. A little you, lot. Is anyone still out there? Hello in there! Um, That's fun. If you can remember, tell us what your favorite couple things were that we found. Yeah. Or else give it a rewatch. It, re it was only 50 minutes long. Anyways, we're kind of pooped. At least I'm pooped I'm after going pooped. to the bins and filming this. So we're going to head out of this room for now. And we will see you guys on Thursday. 
on Thursday for Thread Up Thursday. Yay. See ya. Goodbye.